Meanwhile, an El Paso family who is currently stuck in Israel is desperately just trying to make it home safely as international airlines have suspended all flights from Israel. The family arrived in Tel Aviv just a day before the attack started. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar joins us in the studio tonight with their account. It's a story you'll only see on 9. El Pasoan Lori Gaman and her Jewish family who are in Israel for a long-awaited family trip now find themselves in the middle of a war zone. Gaman and her sister had long been planning the best trip for their 84-year-old father who said he'd love to visit Israel. They arrived with their spouses, their father, and his wife in Israel early last week. And once in Tel Aviv, they were planning to tour the city on Saturday before everything changed. At about 6.30 that morning, we, we heard sirens um, from our hotel room. And, you know, we're like looking at each other. Was that what we just heard? Was that what we think it is? Having to adapt, they learned how to seek shelter as soon as those sirens went off again. Um, you have 90 seconds to get to um, a shelter. And so you hear those sirens and everybody just immediately gets up and goes and then you start talking to people in the stairwell and as you're you're climbing down the stairs to the garage and um you know you're you're trying to help one another just be safe and and get down there in the following days their options to leave were limited as international airlines suspended all flights coming out of israel Gaman says they were able to communicate with the u.s embassy but were told that there are no plans to evacuate americans at this time Gaman describing how her and her family are coping with their situation. You, you really find strength when you think you least have it. And, you know, we're not in a good situation, but we're making the best of it. And we're all trying to be level-headed and um, just keep our wits about us. An emotional goodbye as her father and his wife were flown out of Tel Aviv Tuesday night through an Israeli airline still operating out of Israel to fly in citizens to serve in the war. Lori, Linda, and their spouses will be flying out to Budapest tomorrow through that same airline in hopes of returning home safely. Live in the studio, I'm Jesus Baltasar.